When this lens launched, it was a bit overshadowed by the much more anticipated Nikkor Z 85mm f1.2 S. The consumer also complained, shocker, they made fun of it and questioned Nikon's moves. Who wants a pancake lens anymore? Why is it so expensive? We already have a 28mm f2.8, why do we need a 26mm f2.8? Well, I'm here to tell you, this lens is sweet. Talk all you want, this lens has me wanting to stop questioning Nikon altogether. I've released several videos of a mystery lens, and ladies and gentlemen, this is it. The Nikon Nikkor Z 26mm f2.8. What, when, why, how we are doing this right now. You guys don't know this, but I've recently liquidated my lenses and cameras again. Despite some accusations, I am not a gear whore and I only have what I regularly use or plan to use. So first, why? Because the Nikon Z5 goes everywhere with me, literally, and 26mm is a decent daily focal length. The size of this combination is incredibly small and it doesn't even extend past the Nikon Z5 grip. While I don't care about the size and weight of camera gear when performing a planned shoot, I just use the best that I have for the task at hand, it's pretty nice to have the 26mm on my Z5 since I always have it, and the combined value is the cheapest rig that I can take out right now. Second, uh, what about the price? It's worth it. Next. Thirdly, I'm going to tell you why. Uh, it's got good AF speed, although be aware it's very loud as far as Z lenses are concerned. I would also consider this pretty bad in basically every way for video, but who cares, it's not for that, because it's really, really sharp, and the color saturation might be the second best in the Z lineup to the 20mm f 1.8s, which currently is, in my opinion, the best in that regard. By the way, it's something like double the price of the 26mm. Make no mistake, the 20mm beats it in every way, but to many shooters, it may not be enough to justify it. Rent them before you buy and see for yourself. Also, it's got a metal lens mount. Nice. That's not really worth the extra money over the 28 f2.8. Since every other characteristic is to my eye better on the 26 millimeter somehow, uh, more on that later, it does make it worth the extra money. While this lens is not an S-line lens, I've shot almost every single Z-mount lens and guaranteed it competes with the best in clarity. The images just look amazing. On top of the sharpness and color, they are really contrasty and look awesome when rendered in black and white. And in color, it almost seems like you've already done some processing to it, similar to the 20mm f 1.8s, which again, is double the price. Next, I want to talk about my thoughts after having used this lens for as long as I have been. But first, if you keep finding yourself coming back to the channel and you're not yet subscribed, I hope you'll consider joining this little family that we're building over here. Here are some thoughts that I've developed. I have no idea how Nikon makes such a fine lens this small. Granted, I've always liked the output of Nikon's pancake lenses, but that was an F-mount, and while F-mount lenses had more character and thus were more fun to shop for, Z-mount lenses are basically as close to perfect as we can get right now. I wouldn't think you would be able to make a pancake lens much better than the F-mount ones. Well, Nikon did, and like, way better. I mean, it's a little bamboozling. I've mentioned that there are two products that Nikon made that makes me not want to question what they're doing as far as product releases go. One is the Z8 and the other is this lens. Why? Because both make way more sense after using them than I think the community gave it credit for. More than I gave it credit for at first. I don't know what makes you and I think we know better, but for sure, I don't. And this lens proves it. This lens is so impressive for its size and I enjoy it so much on my daily camera that I'm totally on board for more lenses like this. While I love this lens, I don't want to only use 26 millimeter. Nikon shocked me by proving that their optical savvy isn't just limited to super premium lenses. It can fit in here. Since I do always have a Z5 on hand, I would love to take a 35 or a 50 millimeter in this form factor out into the world. While I don't think it's necessarily a priority, especially a 50 millimeter, uh, in the future, I would be a very happy consumer if I got all of them. I would take any pancake if it's this good. It's just too convenient to be this damn good. So in conclusion, I wouldn't laugh this one off, okay? Don't sleep on the 26mm f2.8. Construction-wise, it's a bit overpriced. Optically, it's a steal and a banger. Stay sharp, YouTube.